My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 115 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at amines. In the previous episode, we looked at amines. Amines are carboxylic acid derivative. If you look at this functional group and you look at something like this, you will see that amines are formed when the OH group in acids are replaced or is replaced by NH2. So it is derived from acids. Amines are also different from amines in the sense that for amines, it is a chi group directly to NH2. There is no O. Amides are also carbonyl compounds. They have the C bond to O. Now, when you have something like this, NH, and here is another alkyl group instead of H2, we call that N substituted amines. N substituted amines. If you have NH arrow instead of NH2, that is N substituted amines. Amines can be prepared from esters, acyl halides, and acid anhydrides. And acid anhydrides. Now look at this. When an ester, this is methyl ethanoate, methyl group, and the OH group has two carbons, methyl ethanoate, react with ammonia. They will form an amine and alkanol. This is what happens. Ammonia has three hydrogen. One of the hydrogen in ammonia will come here to form OH, giving us CH3OH. That is an alkanol, methanol in this case. The remaining NH2 will come to gum here to give you NH2 here. What has been formed? Amines. Also, when ammonia reacts with acid, in acid or in carboxylic acid, you have OH here, right? Yes. One hydrogen in ammonia will come here. To give you HOH or H2O, that is water. The remaining NH2 will come and come here to give you amines. So, from esters, from acids, when they react with ammonia, you definitely form amines. This is methyl ethanoate, this is ethanamine. To so name amines, name the alkyl group and add amine to the name. Metanamide, etanamide, propanamide, and so on. We can prepare amines from partial hydrolysis of nitrides. Nitride is a functional group here. You see carbon, triple bond to nitrogen. When these nitrides react with water, they are hydrolyzed. Amines will be formed in the process. And the properties of amines are the first member, metanamide, is liquid at room temperature but other members are crystalline solids at room temperature the boiling points of amides or the melting points are higher than necessary this is as a result of some traces of hydrogen bonding and the chemical properties of amides are they are very weak acids and very weak bases Jan will ask you which of the following organic compound or functional group is both an acid and both base? They are amines. Amines act as acid and bases. But in both cases, they are very weak. 
as acids, they are very, very weak acids. As bases, they are very, very weak bases. Weak acids, they will not ionize completely in solution. Weak bases, they will not ionize completely in solution. And hydrolysis of amides will give you carboxylic acid and ammonia. Ladies and gentlemen, if carboxylic acid and ammonia will give us amides and water, reaction of amides and water is called hydrolysis. That will definitely give us carboxylic acid and ammonia. Then amides are reduced to primary amides. We can use reducing agents like lithium tetrahydroaluminate or sodium and ethanol as the reducing agent to reduce amide to amides. Decarboxylation of amides will give us the corresponding amides. And what are the uses? They are used to make nylon, they are important organic solvents, and they find application in drugs making somehow, somehow. Ladies and gentlemen, amides, that is it. This brings us to the end of this episode. I trust you found this helpful. I trust you learned something. Please make sure you go through all the episodes. Make sure you understand. Make sure you comment, ask questions. If you find this channel helpful, why not subscribe? If you find it helpful, why not tell your friends about it? If you find this helpful, in fact, getting the Flash Learner Jam app will make it more helpful. It's going to make you pass do well in your exam. Nothing like passing your exam once and for all. Get the app using the YouTube description below, visiting flashlearner.com or searching Flash Learner Jam on Play Store. And this is my number. Chat me up for activation, installation, instruction. If you need coaching for your exam or you have some things bothering you you need to share, please let me know. Remember, sharing is caring. See you. See ya. Take care.